Welcome back to a Happy Buddha production. Today, again, I'm bringing you Valheim. And flying solo right now. Uh, I'm going to show you what I've done. What, you know, I really got to start actually taping what I do. Because it's cool, I guess. But before, you, you all saw the neat thing I got from uh, Broadbent. This uh, boar farm situation. Um, I went and got wolves. So I got tamed wolves now. I should have showed that. I can show you where I did that. Um, reconstructed the entrance. Got a stone wall. Moved it a little bit because we have this wonderful design. <laughs> Go, good old piss off. On the front door. And then we got the stone walkway down to here. Let's zoom out a little bit there. Into the boat boat house where uh, you can park the boat. Cover of rain. You want to go fishing? Um, yeah. There's the boat house. That's pretty nice, huh? Yeah, I, I, it's pretty cool. There's an upstairs too with a couple treasure chests. Just in case, you know. Let's see, yep. A couple treasure chests. There's supposed to be. Uh, we're trying to figure out where to put two blast furnaces. Because um, we have figured out this is going to be our main production of bars and whatnot. Because. We have a base over here that has, that's where the silver is. And then we have this base in the plains where we get the black metal. We get black metal from killing the furlings. And when we get that, everything can just be, because you can't teleport through anything when you only, when you have ore or I, uh, bars. You have to put, make it into their item like nails or weapons or something you know they have to actually use them and then you can portal through them but in order to get them from point a to point b you need to actually put them on the boat and then sail them to where you're going to go so we've decided that this spot here is what we're going to use for the forging of all the metals because it and so i built the this little boathouse. I don't know, I think it's kind of neat. It's nothing fancy fancy, but you know, you can get off in the water and walk up the ramp. I mean, that's what those are for. You know, and then uh, walk back up here. All nice and fancified. Stone. But see, this over here is one of the blast furnace. Right here good spot you know check it out neat but we want to put another one over here I have the items but the boars the boars get scared of the <coughs> scared of it so I don't know uh, you know what we should just put it up I think we should just put it up I don't care if the boars get scared. They're only going to be used every once in a while anyway. So, what do we need for a blast furnace? Twenty stone, five certainly cores, ten iron, and fine wood. I think I have that. Certainly, cores. Five. Okay. Where'd they go? Poof just said he put mats in here. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, 
Well, I guess I'm not putting that up. Shut doors. Never know. Monsters, they actually do walk in. It's kind of weird. Actually, really weird. They're like, hi, and then it's weird. What's really weird is you can, if they're chasing you, and you turn around and say, all right, let's 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 get it on. They run away right away. Their first reaction is to run away. Which is neat, you know, makes sense. Like, oh no, he's getting me actually. But, and then they come back. So, not a big deal. Um. Then you make blood pudding again. Oh. Man! Ready or prepared? Now I gotta chop trees to get wood. Should be sufficient. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we got one more boss to do. We've got bases everywhere. Alright. Blood pudding. I need thistle, blood bag, and flour. guys come on or one of them two of them would come on he says we have a um, we pay for this server so it's on all it's up and running all the time we don't have to wait for each other oh what did I do that for oh let the sun shine in <laughs> Ooh, blood bags look at that and get us some get some blood put in for the fish wraps. Dang it! Dang it! I think I could make that. Yeah, I got a few of those. I'm gonna make some serpents too. Mushroom and honey. Mushroom and honey. Oh man, you actually gotta cook the stuff first. Okay, gotta cook it first, then we can put it in the stew. That's kind of convenient. Man, that 
it's storming out. When it storms out, man, it's it's crazy. You lose your stamina quicker. You gain the stamina slower. Um, if you're wet and going in the mountains, you will f start freezing. No matter if you have the warm cape on or not, you know you can't be wet in the winter, which makes total sense. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just the the dynamics of the game or the code or the the, the gamers or the oh god I'm stuttering on camera blah, 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 blah. um programmers the way the physics there it is the physics of the game work is really awesome I've always admired that. That's another thing I uh, want to do is catch a catch a serpent on camera. That'd be just so legit. That'd be so oh, it'd be awesome. Cause we have a technique now. Just don't want to give that secret away though. We got 18 scales. I think we can make our yeah. Not too certain. I suppose I could try to go go down. I need black metal. Well, yeah, we need black metal, and that's found down in that area. All right, now I can make serpents too. Yeah, make it up. 80 and 80. Oh. Yeah, make the good food. The better your food, the more health and stamina you get. So you definitely want to do that. Before venturing out, you really do want to get um, yourself organized with what you're going to do and, you know, whatnot. Because if you die and you're on the road, it sucks. Big time. So, let's see. I think I'll pour a portal to Ufta and see if we can make some more barley yeah that's one thing about this the game too is like right now we're, we're really just putting the pieces together to fight the um, to fight the uh, what's his name Yargluth or something? Let me see. Yargluth? Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Mosquito right away. <laughs> ah, you see that? It's got... <laughs> squished by the windmill. That's too cool. That's too cool. I love it. I won't use all this barley. He probably wants to make seeds out of it. He's oofed as the main gardener of our little trio that we have going. Let's see, 
seems like this is a big staple of uh, That's surprising. Obviously, I almost got toasted. See, now there's no way to get the black metal from here. Well, I suppose I could get the black metal. There's a, no, we took it all last night. Okay, yeah, we took it all last night. Exposed. You could eat another bite. I haven't even tried the gardening part of the game. <laughs> like, uh, let's see. for this armor. I'll tell you what, that would have been a way different thing if I didn't have this high level armor on. By far. No sailing on the night timey. Plan better. Yeah. Must sleep. Gain strength. Hmm. Funny business. Four hundred and fifty. Yes, we've been at this game for quite some time now. Well, at least this server. What was that? Keyboard decided not to work. strange.
Man, and I pick a day where the wind's going the wrong way. What the hell? Going back in. Hello there. Hello there. It's Ufta. Oh, that's a good good time in Ufta. Wow. Snake. Alright, try that. Hello there. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. Now I can. Alright. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Just, uh, you know, in the middle of it, uh, you're gonna take the boat to your base so that it's down there. So when we do mm -hmm. another black metal run, black metal, <laughs> black metal. <laughs> Once we, uh, you know, can do that, it'll be ready for us to to go. Nice. So I don't know. You want to come with me? You want to? Yeah. Build a. Yeah, do we have a harpoon? Build a harpoon. Maybe we can get a sea serpent. I'd love to get a sea oh, serpent on, on the video, man. That'd be fucking awesome. I don't know if we have enough. I think you need 30 to make it. Oh, I think come we got on. 12. I think we got 28. Man, yeah, all right. This is the look of sadness, everybody. Look of oh, sadness. you're streaming right now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I don't even know where they are. Uh, they are. I just saw, I swear, to, there they are. Yeah, we got 28 of them. Well, I suppose what, bring them with and do you need <clears throat> just a bench? That's what I'm looking for right now. Uh, no, you need a level two bench. Oh. Um. Well, it wouldn't be that hard to make, put something else on my bench at my place. Let's see. Um. What's an easy one? What we need to do, everybody, is find a uh, Leviathan and chip away the barnacles that are on its exposed piece of it and build a, a bestial harpoon from these barnacles so that you can use it as a harpoon to catch the sea serpent. So we're kind of well, in the middle of one or the other thing to get the other thing. Do we have ten flint? There's got to be 10 flint in there. There's 15 in the arrows, yeah. I mean, in order to get a level 2 workbench, don't you only need a chopping block? Yeah, that's what I'm going to make. So we we'll, what we'll do is find a leviathan. Yeah. Build that on him, grab a couple more, and take off. Because they go under, they go under if, the, if you piss them off enough. <laughs> so we'll need, what, 20 wood then? Yeah. We need 10 for the bench and 10 for the... Chopping block. Chopping block. Right? Yeah, 10 wood and 10 flint. Oh, and, 10, and I so just... 20 wood and 10 flint, yep. Yeah. And we need to make the thing. We need. I think. Didn't you grab everything yesterday besides the fine wood? Eight fine wood and three leather straps. Scraps. <clears throat> yeah, I should have fine wood here. Uh, yeah, I got 35, 34 fine wood. Okay. Okay, three leather scraps. See, I was hoping everybody that that someone else would come on and we could do this sea serpent bullshit. So eight, did you grab? 
Where are they? They're in the woods. 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 Okay. All right. Oh, so. but, and and just to let you know, put the blast furnace right next to the pigs. Who gives a shit? Okay. They can't run out. And if right. they do, we'll slaughter them for the meat. Mm. Then it's, it is just a factory. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Close your doors. And for this shipping adventure, always bring your motor uh, a buff because it's kind of nice. You get five minutes of wind your way. Is, it, is the boat fixable? Let me see. Yep, you can fix the boat all the way out here. That's badass. Nice. So all I, knew, right. I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was doing. Uh, I'm going to sit down and I'll be right back. No problem. I will sail us in the right direction. This gets a little tricky. All right, here we go. Now the first, thing, of course, we like I said, we have to make the sea, uh, make the um, harpoon first. But what you want to do, the main idea is to harpoon the sea serpent, and then, oops, let's go this way. Let's go other way, other way, other way. Wide berth. Let's go. Um, you want what you want to do is you want to lure the sea serpent into into the shoreline so that you can harpoon him or drag him on the land so that he becomes well he's not completely immobile he can slither down the the, the um, sl he can slither down the land so you want to be careful not to have enough stamina or, or you know, take care of the situation because he can um, get back in the water. But it, that's the easiest way to get him. Let's try to turn the boat around here. Power motor. All right, I'm back. All right, welcome back. Just as it starts sailing. Um, I just got done. Just, I have to let you know, I just picked your barley. I phased in, right? And there's a mosquito right there. So mm -hmm. it, uh, I swung at it and everything, and I chopped a bunch of the barley down. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick the barley. Um, and I put a bunch of it in your base uh, at the windmill to make more barley. Or more uh, flour, and then uh, okay. the majority of it I put in the case. Cause, how does the the gardening work? Can you turn the barley into either seeds or barley? You know what I mean? Like, are you allowed to change no, what you, it is? No, you, no, you just you plant it back again, and it gives you two. It gives you two barley. And same thing with the flax. Oh, well, how about it's the? Not, how about the carrots mm -hmm. and the turnips? Are they? Can you switch with yes. what it is? Yeah. Yeah, you plant the seeds. Turns into a carrot or a turnip. Then you take the carrot or the turnip, and you can turn it into uh, three seeds. Right. And you can plant the stuff if you want to. I always want to keep... Kind of a general rule is I always want to keep about a hundred seeds. Okay, yeah, because I told I told the the viewers that um, I haven't done any of the gardening myself. Um, you you do all the gardening and you would know how to do with the seeds or whatever, you know. So I figured. Yeah. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I haven't even started.
It's kind of nice. The two two and a half minutes left of the win. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, daddy's having juice. <laughs> and we should have we should have been uh, farming these uh, barnacles this from the uh, Leviathans a long time ago. We've been sailing enough. Oh, yeah, definitely. Hopefully we find one on the way out here. Well, there was a few. Kind of foggy. I know, I can't see nothing. And I don't know any she sea shanties. Kind of clearing up, kind of clearing up. What's that one? Uh, you see that little thing out there seven, left? Was it seven little chipmunks on my uncle's ranch? I don't know nothing about no chipmunks. That's like you know, the difference between your finger and a, a booger and, a, and the slug. Booger and a snail. <laughs> a snail. So chipmunks in an uncle's pouch? What? Don't you, don't you remember there's something about Mary? Oh, man, that was a long time ago. Yeah, you picked up, uh, Ben Stiller picked up the hitchhiker. And he's like, don't you remember that the tail by the sea? Well, I can tell you our power has gone, and now the wind's oh, going. We're going right there. We're going the right way for a smacked button. <laughs> this is going to suck. Man, we're probably going to run into the sea serpent and only be able to kill him. What was that? I said we're probably going to only be able to see the sea serpent and kill him because we don't have a harpoon to get the parts. That's going to yeah, be the sucky part. Yeah. I am staying on the ocean line, though, just in case. Well, where in the heck are the Leviathan, man? What's up? I know we saw a bunch. Mm-hmm. I wonder when you harvest a, um, the chitin off of them and they go down, I wonder if they come back up after a while. Uh, I don't know. They might. I mean, sort of, you know, sort of like a respawning. I don't know if anybody knows. Comment down below. Let us know. <laughs> Do they respawn, or are they actually gone for that from that location? We're 
we're coming up on your base, though. Yeah, I see that. There actually looks like there's planes right across from my my base on the other island. Yeah, I see that. Because I think we pretty much cleaned out <clears throat> the only little goblin dudes. Um, or by uh, be... bone mass? Well, no. Because I did see dude. The ones coming out at night, you know. Yeah, but right here. Okay. There's, there's a little. That's where I saw those. Um, uh, oh, gosh. Berserkers. Oh, okay. I saw two berserkers, and I was like, you know what? I've never even fought them. I don't know what they're like. It, it, we got to have Tin Tin with. <laughs> oh, they're not too bad. They're actually. You got to see the uh, shamans. I don't know if you've seen a shaman yet, have no, you? No, I have not. Oh, those are nice. Those are scary. Well, it's about to get scary right now. I really want to chip away at one of those stone pillars, too. Yeah, it'd be fun to watch it fall down. Careful, careful. I'm going to your base, but... If we see a serpent, we gotta take him down. Hey, there's hey, fish! Hey, a flying fish! <laughs> you see that? <laughs> jumping out of the water. I got my fishing gear. We could, like, do right. I also went, uh... You might want to go to the right. There you go. Yeah, I went, uh, fishing and got 14 fish. That's why I was doing the barley, too. Oh, nice. Make some tacos. Yeah, those are good stuff. Man. One thing I've noticed about this game is the wind is never in your favor when you want it to be. Yeah, I know. I wonder, it's another thing I wonder is, what, do players while they're playing this, do they actually, do they go, oh shit man, I'm gonna fucking bring it up this way here, there we go. Um, do they just fight the wind like we're doing, or do they actually go with the wind? You know what I mean? They might just, like, if I suppose unless they're on like a set, you know, mission to do, go do something, I would imagine they probably have to just fight the wind. I mean, like us, we're meticulous about the map. We want the map filled out. We don't want it all willy-nilly. Hey, buddy, there's a little dude sitting right here. Woo. Oh, bad, bad aim there. Real bad. Look at that. Oh that. my god! Seriously? It's too early in the morning. What? <laughs> that one went way over his head. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Here, I'll park it on the outskirts, uh, outside instead of. Maybe he'll drown. Not right. No, they don't. <laughs> Literally, I had one follow me almost all the way out to, like, sea, ocean. It was still... Alright. Jump out. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, we're here. We're here. And you got a lot of birds. Oh! Um... The death skeeto uh, that was chasing me, I didn't actually kill it. The windmill did. Yeah. The windmill did. <laughs> the windmill did? Nice. Yeah. Justin, see, I didn't plant anymore. I didn't want to mess that up. You got the barn. The barless flower. All right, I set my spawn here. Okay. All righty.
All right, I'm, I think I'll put, yeah, we'll throw the makings for everything in here. Is it still pumping barley out? Nope. No. Wow. It's wow, that thing is quick. <clears throat> yeah, we got 60. Look at that wind, too. That's blowing like a mother. Mm-hmm. Go to sleep. It's a lot safer to go to sleep uh, instead of uh, drowning out the night and playing through the night because you're going to get raided, you're going to get lots of monsters, and they're going to make you very upset. So it is better to go to sleep. You don't need to test your bravery, your metal, to figure out, yeah, I'm a badass, I can do it. No, just go to sleep. <laughs> All right, we're, we're looking for a Leviathan, is what we're doing, right? Is that what you want? I want to grab the stuff. Well, yeah, let me grab the stuff. All right. This is going to be uh, part one of uh, a two-part video. I'm going to stop it here, and then I'll come back uh, when we get everything ready for the finding of the sea serpent. So, until then... Have a happy day.